congratulations and well done on buying your new Easy Trail K Series camper. You've made the right decision. Before you head off on your first trip, we want to show you step by step just how simple it is to set up your new trailer. Be prepared, it may take you a little while the first few times you do it as you learn what goes where and who does what job, but after a while you'll be a well oiled machine. Let's get stuck into it. The first thing to do when you come to camp is to find a nice piece of level ground and unhitch the trailer. Before unhitching though, make sure you put on the handbrake and position your wheel chocks behind your wheels to avoid the trailer moving when you disconnect. To disconnect, flip down the jockey wheel and take some of the weight off your vehicle just until the pin is able to turn freely. Then disconnect your trailer plugs and chains and pull the safety clip out and then the pin. Next, get a mate to drive your vehicle forward until the trailer is resting on its own jockey wheel, then simply unclip and wind down all four corner support legs using the provided winder. Use these to make small level adjustments to the trailer to get it perfect. Unlatch the boat loader rack and with the help of a mate, push it up and away from the trailer. It can lock either vertically or it can come down horizontally depending on what you have attached to it and how much space you have at camp. Next, unwind both the forward and rear winches about three and a half to four metres and attach the anchor points. Then, unlatch all of your catches and lift the lid by about 500 millimetres. This is so when you start winching, the lid lifts rather than pull straight against the hinges. Using the front winch, wind until the trailer floor goes just past 90 degrees. It will then start to fall before the rear winch catches it. Once it's supported by the rear winch, use that to lower the lid down onto the front of the trailer. Before you go gung-ho into setting up the inside of your trailer, take the time to get your poles out and organise them into groups. There are a couple of pole types that you'll need to be aware of. These are your upright poles. They come with either a spigot or a C-clip and at the other end, they've got the rubber foot. These are used to support your annex. These are called your ridge poles. You've got a flat on one end and a hook on the other and they attach to the camper trailer and they go out to the upright to support the roof of your annex. These are spreader poles and they come with either a C-clip or a flat end and they're used to spread the load between the poles to keep your roof nice and tight. These short guys are the window stays and they feature a spigot at one end and a hook on the other and these are used to keep your windows open. Lastly, these guys are your corner stays, and as the name suggests, they're used to keep the corners up nice and high off the bed. And to help make the whole job easy, each pole has a number on it, identifying where it's used and what it's used for. All of the poles in the K-Series range have a quick release and a quick locking mechanism that's so easy to use, even the kids can do it. Before you get into the tent, there are two other types of poles you need to know about. The tent bows. These are the U-shaped tent supports that are attached to the trailer. The roof bow. This is for the tropical fly that sits on the top of your trailer to keep the sun and the rain off the canvas roof. Now that we have that sorted, let's get the trailer set up. Now it's time to set up the tent on your Sterling GT and this is one of the quickest models in the range to set up. I reckon with a bit of practice you'll do this in less than 10 minutes but be prepared, your first time might take a little bit longer. Locate your door key and use this to open the door of the trailer. This is always the first thing you do before going in and the last thing you do before folding the trailer back up when you pack up. Before jumping inside, work your way around the trailer and make sure all the press studs are connected so the canvas holds in place. Grab four C-clip spreader bars and two small corner stays and climb inside the trailer. If your trailer is brand new, check that all the bows are correctly attached to the canvas. Start by putting in two of your spreader bars between the living area bow and the centre bow and then climb up onto the bed. 
Raise the bed bow and extend out until the side walls are firm but not tight. Then put in your corner stays and the other two spreader bars, extend the corner stays and lock them into place. Work your way back extending all bows then spreader bars, but take care not to make it too tight as it can open up the seams and let the water get in. When you first set up your new trailer, don't be concerned if the canvas is a little bit saggy, it'll come tight as the canvas weathers. And what we have now is the trailer set up in its most basic form. It takes around 20 to 30 minutes to set up the annex and it's best done with two people. The first step is to lay out all your poles and get your mate to lower the centre bow. The first step is to unfold your annex canvas and lay it on the ground. Here's a little tip for you. Instead of trying to climb up and zip the annex on, once you've got the zip started, use a window stay to help the zip along. Start off by inserting the hooked end of the ridge pole through the canvas holes, putting the hook through the loop inside the tent. Once all of your ridge poles are in, start at one end and put in the upright and add in the flat spreader poles. And then last of all, put the canvas over the top with the upright spigot through the eyelet and use the elastic hook to secure. It's best to have your mate or missus help with this part, it really is a two person job. Once all the perimeter uprights and spreader bars are up, it's time to put in the C-clip uprights and spreader bars. While all Easy Trail NXs are freestanding, we strongly recommend tying them down with guy ropes to make them rock solid. If you're looking for a bit of privacy from the other campers, or perhaps the weather has turned and you want to batten down the hatches, it's a good idea to set up your annex walls. It's a fairly simple job and it won't take any more than around 15 minutes. The first step is to lay out your annex walls and make sure that the side with the PVC flap is going to be on the inside of the trailer. This will make sure the D-ring is on the outside and you can peg your walls down. Once again, with the help of a friend, start the zippers and zip away. Make sure that you don't forget to push down the Velcro for a good seal. Peg out all of your walls using the D-rings that are positioned around the perimeter. If you're putting in the PVC floor, this is the time to do it, once it's all pegged out. This simply Velcros on, and thanks to that PVC flap, there's no chance of water getting in. And there you have it, the Sterling GT all set up and ready for anything. Don't forget to check out the camping tip segment on the DVD for some handy hints on how to tie things like guy ropes, and also attach your shower and toilet room. If you've got any questions about the setup of your Easy Trail, feel free to contact your local dealer. But if you've picked up any hints and tips and you'd like to share them, log on to Easy Trail's Facebook page. Thank you.